Hey everyone, welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, we're continuing on with our challenge mode playthrough on Isla Morta on Jurassic Difficulty. We are picking up right where we left off from the previous episode. Uh, if I remember correctly, we have lots of exhibits that are ready to fill up with dinosaurs. I remember we were in the process of getting Cynoceratops up to 100, as well as Styracosaurus, but I think we have Styracosaurus at 100 now. So we'll just um, work on finishing up Ankylosaurus for now. Alright, we have a research team on standby. Um, let's grab the... do we have the stress inhibitor yet? Let's grab that one. Because, uh, Dilophosaurus is going to be one of the next dinosaurs that we put in, and I'd like to modify it so that I don't have to worry about it trying to break out during storm. All right, so let's see, we got a couple contracts. Arithosaurus, rating of 21. We can handle that. We will incubate one Carithosaurus and we will get two contracts done. Double Amber is always nice. And lots of minerals. Uh, let's see, so in between episodes we had another update for um, what is coming for free with this game, and it looks like our Spinosaurids um, are getting a wetland requirement as far as their habitat goes, and there's going to be a new feeding dispenser that gives fish instead of just meat or goats. And those are specifically for Suchomimus, Spinosaurus, and Baryonyx. And there's new animations coming along with that as well, so that, that all seemed pretty neat to me. And let me think if there was anything else. They did announce that aside, I think, so this, all of that free updates are coming out on June 18th, I think. And then after, in the future, they're going to announce some paid DLC that will be coming later on. So, um, they haven't released any details on what that could be as of yet. Alright, that should finish off Ankylosaurus. So now let's do continue with the Cynoceratops and we will start on Velociraptor. Um, let's up what let's research an additional research team and then I want to research all of this power upgrades so that I can avoid um, 
I have two small power stations, and I'd like to get the most use out of those as possible for the time being. Corythosaurus is ready. So let's have our ECU team tranquilize it so we can go ahead and sell it. And they also want us to sell an Ankylosaurus with 63 attack. Um, hmm. We, let's, I think we have another fossil waiting, so we will hold on for a moment before we pursue that contract. So one thing that I'm curious about, I only have this one goat feeder. Oh, the Stratosaurus is sick. We'll continue that font in a moment. I'm just gonna take control of this real quick. Um, in previous playthroughs, I've noticed that if you only have the goat feeder and you have multiple carnivores, that the second carnivore sometimes doesn't eat. So, I'm, I wasn't sure if that was... I'm gonna see if the ceratosauruses are both at full health once I... Um, try once I heal them. But shooting the dart in them might heal them anyway and make them not hungry anymore. So I might have to test that again later. to get out of here. Twenty million park value. Alright, let's um Let's see if we can get that Ankylosaurus contract without doing any further research into attack gene. There's only one spot for it. So we'd have to research more attack stuff. Um, that might be worth doing because there's also a contract for Resilience and a Velociraptor. That's our first dead Struthiomimus, as Dr. Malcolm is reminding us. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. For right now, I'm gonna get rid of these two contracts. We have the money to take the hit, and these are both things that are going to... All of these are things that are going to take me a while, and I'd rather just get contracts that um, I can get done quickly. Corythosaurus and Dilophosaurus together? I don't think so. 
Okay, we can do that one. Um, we might keep that one. It depends on how close we are. And we'll keep that one. Big yield. So we're just going to get rid of one and replace it immediately. Research that's just waiting to be done, so let's grab these real quick. I wanted to grab the power station upgrade, so let's do that. Improved output and protection. Um, total visitor count. We have enough money to release another Ceratosaurus. I don't know if that'll be enough to boost it up. It might be. We have enough money to just start releasing dinosaurs like everywhere in all these exhibits, so I might just keep that one for now. Let's see, do I still have the... I got rid of the... Um, hatchery thing, the 10% increase, so I'm, I'm not going to alter anything on these dinosaurs. Let's get started on our Draco Rex Pachycephalosaurid uh, exhibit. I'll we'll start with two Draco Rex. This one's going to be kind of interesting. I probably, probably just going to get rid of some of this water because I, I literal as you, if you remember this hill, we can't do anything with it because it's too steep. I think I'm just going to put a feeder there. I think Sinoceratops is done. So, we're done here. We will just send two teams for the Velociraptor genome. How our Draco Rexes are ready. Let's see, our visitor count went all the way up to 741, so the second Draco Rex might actually get us over 800. And I would like to have more than just two Draco Rex, so we're going to start with just three. Check on our research. Still got a little while to go. Alright, that got us to 762. So, 
let's work on incubating. You know what? Let's. Um, we just finished Sinoceratops, so let's do two of those over here. This one still has the success rate on it. So I am going to f add the lifespan mod to this one. Alright, that's another one we can keep. N um, speaking of Draco Rex and the Pachycephalosaurids, by the way, they will be getting... This is part of a free update. They will be getting um, fight animations against the small carnivores so they can actually fight and kill... Things like the raptors, Dilophosaurus, Troodon, etc. Which is pretty cool. I, I'm very glad they're putting that in there. They, they, they won't be able to do anything against the larger carnivores, though. But, but that makes that makes more sense to me. Any All right, these guys are comfortable. Very good. Let's check on the Ceratosauruses. I never really looked. Okay, they're, both of their health is at 100%, so they must both be eating the grass. How are our Cynoceratopses doing? Alright, they have a little bit to go. Um, right now we only have two Hyangosaurus, so let's get a... Let's get a third one going. And why not? We will get going on our third Ceratosaurus as well. Is there anything else that I'm not thinking of that we don't have at 100%? That's just the raptors. Alright, here we are ready. This should get us to over 800 visitors. There we go. to ACU Center. Let's check the social or the population on the trice. Those are fine. We're gonna we're are going to eventually get rid of these Ruthiaminuses, and this is going to be a Ceratopsid only exhibit. We're getting lots of contracts done. Our research is finished. And that Struthia Minus just wandered into the gate, which means that it's going to be easier to tranquilize. Herbivore. I was gonna say, I have a feeling we just got to 100% raptor DNA. So... 
that means I need to research some new fossils. So let's do that before I forget real quick. Hmm, these are... The Proceratosaurus, you can only have five of those. So that one's honestly not that good of a pick. Baryonyx might be an interesting choice. I haven't done Baryonyx in a while. Um, let's do... We're gonna grab Oloro-Titan and Crichtonsaurus. Have another dead Struphiolimus. So I'm actually just gonna move these guys over here rather than just selling them. Where is the other Struphi that we need to drink? actually move once it's tranquilized. We're just we're just doing this to get some fossil revenue for the time being. These will take a little while. There's our last Struthy that needs to be moved. Let's um, put some trees in here, just make it look a little more lively. Triceratops and Sinoceratops are pretty um, easy to maintain. I am going to incubate a third Sinoceratops. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just stick with three for now. Wow. Um, I guess we'll. I'm gonna get rid of that one. We're not. It's like a very minor contract, and we just grab the two different species to research that aren't Roceratosaurus. So, all right, our dig sites are drying up as we expected because we're basically just using them for minerals right now. At least one Ankylosaurus drinking. Okay. Um, we can do that, I think. I should probably close this before I release the Ceratosaurus, though. I will incubate one Ankylosaurus. And we will let it uh, mingle with our Dracorex for the time being in this enclosure.
have to after you um take a moment for capture mode this is one of the prettiest daytime settings you can have in this game i think Alright, Ceratosaurus number three has been released. Incubate small herbivore. I think that this will count for that. We'll find out shortly. Um, we're running out of dig sites, as you can see, but it looks like we just got Oloro Titan, and I'm waiting. Titan Saurus should pop up any second here. Well, it looks like that one takes significantly longer, so we'll just send another team to this site. We have a contract for ACU Accuracy 1.0, so I'm going to research that one. Alright, we're going to keep this... We're going to get rid of this one, and we just researched for that one. Any dinosaur to two combat victories. So, um, as I have kind of explained before, um, Let's just say, hypothetically, if I had an enclosure with an Indominus Rex in it, that would be a pretty straightforward contract, but... Because every single exhibit I have has multiple dinosaurs in it, it literally, it has to be the same... Ceratosaurus. It can't be a different Ceratosaurus. Which is pretty hard to micromanage, so we're just gonna take the hit and get rid of that one. Alright, we have our Crichtonsaurus um, spot now. Tooth hardness modification. I just did a contract for you. It involved Colosaurus, and now you want one with tooth hardness. Um, speaking of that, however, um, let's go ahead and grab this real quick. It may come in handy later. Our third Sinoceratops is ready. Yeah. 
And let's get going on our Styracosauruses. Don't want to forget about them. Our Ankylosaurus is ready, which means it is photo time. Hopefully we can get over there in time. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the Ankylosaurus for right now. I don't necessarily plan on keeping them in that enclosure. I think I'm. What I think I'm going to do is have all three packy stuff in there, potentially. I, don't know, I might have a small Ankylosaurus exhibit by a hotel or something. Alright, it went to eat first, so I can close this. Alright, you're gonna. You gonna take a drink? Cause that'd be great. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Looking for water. Oh, I think you found it. Something tells me you found it. You may or may not be standing in it. There you go. Alright. Contracted and storm warning. Why would, why would we ever just get one at a time? At least the jeep's over here already. We have a sick triceratops, and it has hookworms. So it's probably going to need to be shot with a dart multiple times. We do not appear to be getting a tornado, so I am going to take control of this. Three should be enough. Barely. Alright, no more sick dinosaurs. But we have a down substation. Did I never... I don't think I... Did I never rebuild that storm protection thing? It looks like I didn't because everything was damaged. Alright, nothing needs to be... I remember I made... I've got one to fit here. But... Looks like I don't have anything here as far as storm protection goes. Our Styracosauruses are ready. I'm going to wait until after the storm to release them. All 
Alright, our, our research is open. I'm going to grab this um, inventory space. And I'm also going to grab a ranger team scheduling. Cancel emergency. And release the Styracosaurus. And we will get going on Styracosaurus number three in just a moment. And then we will start filling this enclosure with a couple of Carithosaurus. Let's make sure, aside from the social bar, everything else is fine with this guy. Which is what we were hoping for. Alright, we're going to do one Huayangosaurus and one Chunkingosaurus for this exhibit. I have got to tell you, um, not having to tranquilize and move a dinosaur every 10 minutes has been amazing. Um, there's been times when I'm excited to play this game, and then I think of having to tranquilize and move 50 dinosaurs, and I, and I don't, I just don't want to play anymore. <laughs> so, um, that's all I've got to say about that. Um, let's check our facilities. Okay, we can increase our staff here. And here as well. I keep forgetting. I feel I feel like the last two parks I did were small parks, so I didn't need to worry very much about managing that stuff. And I only needed like one hotel, so that's something I'll actually need to um, be concerned with on this playthrough. Income from guest facilities, it looks like we're going to get that in a reasonable amount of time, so I'll keep that one. Oh yeah, I forgot about the ACU accuracy. That one's been chilling, and I already have it up, uh, researched. How much reserve power do we have? We have one reserve power right now. Um, okay, that's that we can we'll we'll be okay with that for the time being. I might as well release this other Ankylosaurus tooth hardness modification. Alright, you got a 99% chance of success. If this fails, I'm gonna be sad. Um, because I can't, I can't even start researching Stiggy Moloch yet. I think I need two stars, which we're very close to, though. So we'll just keep this as a Draco Rex and Ankylosaurus exhibit until we have Stiggy Moloch. Kingosaurus is ready. They are all doing good. I um I'm not sure if you guys can tell on the um recording, but I've mentioned this before, but it's it's affecting the game more uh, on this island for some reason. But during the day and night cycles, the frame rate on this drops uh, pretty noticeably. 
nothing like terrible and it's not for very long but I am going to switch it to just the regular default island lighting just for now though there we go There you go. If I remember correctly, Styracosaurus is kind of our limiting factor here with a 14 ideal population. So we will be able to put Taurosaurus in here as well, and that will be four Ceratopsids, four species, and I think that's going to be it. That'll be all we can fit in there. Probably time for me to put a second feeder in here as well, because there's so many of them. One thing that I've mentioned before that I'm really looking forward to is like I'd love to put a couple of trees like right here and and stuff, but I can't. And I I don't I, we're supposed to be able to add like individual trees with this update, which would be fantastic. Because otherwise you're kind of when you get in the corners like this, it always just ends up being barren, and it just looks like, oh, there's a gate here, and that's about it. <laughs> Alright, Ankylosaurus survived incubation. That's gonna get... Alright, we have two stars, and it's gonna get a contract done. We have a lot more stuff to do now. Let's um, not get ahead of ourselves, though. We will finish up with Oloro Titan and Crichtonsaurus. We need to open this gate for our new tanky boy here. Research speed. Alright, we will get started on our medical treatments. And I will also grab research speed. Not a bad one to grab because on challenge mode, I don't. I'm I'm almost positive that ex that the research speed, uh, the time it take the time it takes to research something is much longer. So we've got three contracts that are in motion. We are at two stars. Um, uh, let's see, I remember saying that I wanted to do Carithosaurus in this enclosure, so let's start on that. We'll put the lifespan gene on these guys. You're gonna head on in. Alright, there we go. Population is still okay for this Ankylosaurus. <sighs> Probably time for a second feeder for those guys. I can put it pretty much anywhere in the enclosure and the guests will still be able to see them. So I'm going to put this one um, in the back. So it kind of helps spread them out a little bit. There we go. Let's see here. They're pretty... They're not very picky. I could put several more in there. 
and we have no problems. Trying to think if there's any, like, specific dinosaur that would be really nice to get going on, but um, for now, I'm honestly fine with just kind of maximizing our current enclosures. But with that being said, it is time to start thinking about the next area that we're going to build on. Giant herbivore fossil. Alright, well, we'll send a team for that after this one. Let's uh, refill these speeders. And uh, I think I researched... Um, tasking, yeah, there we go, but now we have no power. We will just go ahead and fix that real quick. Or we'll get bombarded with contracts, either or. Okay, improved output. 2.0 and percent risk of outage negated. All right, there we go. I'll do the same over here. All right, so these guys are ready. I'm going to try to make this exhibit slightly larger because I, I know I know right away that you know this is going to be kind of a unless something changes I pretty much plan on this being kind of like the the hadrosaur and struthiomimus enclosure second feeder in here as well. Right here looks good. Why are you over here? They just love to uh, to do stuff like that, I guess. Did you, you gonna make your way back inside there? thinking about it. There you go. Alright. Um, Carithosaurus is happy. These guys are doing good. I feel like one of the challenges we're going to have is whether or not this enclosure is big enough for Ceratosaurus and Dilophosaurus. I feel like it's pretty large, but I really would, I'd really like to just modify the Dilophosaurus with the stress inhibitor times one and not have to modify the environment stuff a whole bunch. 
see, oh, see, this one's hungry because I, the goat feeder apparently doesn't, um, it's not doing it for him, so. Fix that right away with a feeder right here. What I'm gonna do is preemptively maximize my tree coverage. I, I put never mind um, I'm trying to keep I always try to keep the areas by the gates fairly clear just so that the jeeps can get in and out as easily as possible All right, let's see how are you this one's hungry, but otherwise it's fine. We can we can get rid of a little more grassland for these guys. How's that? That's pretty close, so we're gonna we're gonna tentatively leave it there. Income per minute, that's gonna be a no, but let's Pentosaurus, first fossil of that. Alright, there we go. We finished off Olaro Titan. Um, and then we're going to send a team for a giant uh, herbivore fossil. So we're going to go for Diplodocus first. There you go. Research. How's that going? Let's get these, these two out of the way. Corethosaurus ready to go. <clears throat> Research speed upgrade. I believe we have that now. And where's the fossil center? For space, yes please. Photo worth five thousand dollars. We will grab that in a minute. All right, um, we're coming up on about just under an hour. Uh, we're gonna end this episode for the time being. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be back with more of this playthrough. My goal is, oh wow, good timing. My goal is, we'll, we'll, okay, never mind. We will survive the storm, and then we will end the episode. Um, my goal is to finish this island and five-star it prior to the free update, which shouldn't be a problem um, unless a bunch of stuff comes up. Um, and then I'm probably just going to wait until the update comes out because the amount of stuff that's coming in this update is practically like a DLC on its own. Okay. All 
Alright, there's our picture that we need to... The tornado is way over there, so... Sometimes the storm will damage something like as it's literally like it's done, like it's on its way back up, and it'll be like, just kidding, I'm gonna destroy this one last thing for you. Alright, but everything's fine. Guess we need to do a science thing. Outage protection 3.0. Can I even research that? Um, I must be able to if it gave me a... Allow Crichtonsaurus to kill Ceratosaurus. There it is. We will research that. So that you don't turn off my darn power anymore. Um, and here's another dig team. So that's a good one to grab. Plotticus. That is probably going to be what our next enclosure is, by the way, is the sauropod uh, enclosure. That's what I'm thinking. Way. We have some... We have some contracts to get rid of. Get rid of this one. Keep that one. Get rid of that one. Alright, so we survived the storm. Um... Now we will end the episode. Um, and uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.